Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. We're currently in San Francisco, where I'm now delighted to be joined by Dan Matters, VP Product Strategy at Archive 360, along with Terry Bach, Managing Director at Archive 360. Gentlemen, such a pleasure to be with both of you here today. Thanks for having us. We're yeah, delighted to be here. We are excited. Looking forward to diving in, Dan. At Archive360, you recently announced the release of a new modern archiving platform along with integration with Snowflake. What does this mean for the overall market? Yeah, it's, so it's wonderful to be able to make that announcement actually while we're here at Snowflake. It really kind of resonates even more. Um, what we've done is we have completely redefined what an archive is. And along with Snowflake, really making sure that what our customers can do is get real value, real insight, now out of archive data. So Snowflake can drive tremendous value out of archive data itself, but some of the challenges along with archiving have been how to prepare that data, as well as then how to um, govern that data right. itself. Traditional archives very staid in approach, much more about compliance, not necessarily really about driving value. And now, today with our platform, we can actually bring in much more data, necessarily thought of as being locked away, and to drive that value into Snowflake. So generally, people had challenges with access, with control, and being able to then provide it into the platform. Today's the day we flip that switch. It's great to hear. And Terry, from your perspective, how are leaders evolving their thinking about data lifecycle management and its strategic importance in an AI-driven world? Uh, really through practical application of the things Dan just talked about. So really it's thinking about the first wave of the last 10 years ago of analytics and really accelerating that on two fronts, both in terms of size, scale, and a, and a third really, which is speed. So maintaining access to everything, um, and, and turbocharging that access to be able to get at multiple different data types, but then being able to think about that at speed, and frankly in use cases that maybe you've thought of today, but enabling the ones you haven't even thought of yet. Uh, and doing so with you know, our background, which is handling very, very sensitive data in areas of things like regulatory compliance for our enterprise clients, uh, as well as for government agencies. It's great to hear an exciting next chapter, Terry. Dan, from your seat, how is your platform enabling organizations to innovate with their data while meeting these rigorous compliance needs as you discussed? So, I, I love this kind of question and I'll, I'll tell you why. Because typically, people don't pair innovation and compliance together. And again, as part of the new platform, what we're doing is really bringing those things together. So, organizations like, um, government and large uh, organizations always have very large data sets of which that they really need to manage. Those environments change all the time. There's a lot of regulations, a lot of security around it. And that's effectively exactly what Archive 360 brings to bear. Bringing in core capabilities like being able to retain the data, search it, retrieve it, dispose of it, and also really apply very granular um, controls to it. When you've paired that together, ultimately what happens is now you have an environment of which is rich with data and is now capable to be fed in and really that's where the innovation comes by being able to apply those controls, bring that data into a snowflake and together Archive 360 and Snowflake bring together a powerful combination. And this actually feeds in perfectly into my next question here, and how is the AI data cloud powering Archive 360's ecosystem of customers to move faster while staying true to the utmost levels of security? Terry, why don't we start with you? Well, certainly um, in the business that we've been in for many years, security for large enterprises and government agencies is jacks are better to play the game. So you start there with a foundational piece of that. Um, but in terms of how you can leverage the AI cloud to go faster. Um, it's uh, maintaining all those same principles while accelerating both the scale and speed um, that you can uh, do those things in the archive. Uh, well, using the archive to feed the AI data cloud to get bigger, better insights, get to those faster, um, essentially more data co connectivity, uh, less friction, um, while also maintaining sort of who can see what in terms of things like entitlements while not slowing down big 
ideas that people want to iterate on and go very quickly. Great to hear the ease of use help powering, powering the way. And Dan, from your seat. Yeah, I, I will probably limit my comments because security is one of those things I could talk about for hours themselves. So That's for our next follow-up th conversation. Th that's yeah. right, when we come back next time. So it's a really wonderful thing. So we're a native cloud platform and ultimately we have a wide set of really clients ranging from financial firms to govern government entities. And so the rules and the regulations and security is super, super tight. So we're really acclimated to working within that environment itself. Our platform is a dedicated SaaS platform, and, and while that sounds sometimes innocuous, what it really does is it drives some very good, convenient uh, benefits. Meaning in the fact of, in that type of an environment, you have no shared components, which is a big right. thing from a security perspective. But equally, the inherent benefit is also in the fact of that there generally then tends to be no conflict with other driving forward specific bespoke security practices. So we've got a very well honed process in dealing with that, and we offer all of that advice as we bring new clients on board. So great, great topic. It's, it's great to hear, and Dan, as AI models become more sophisticated and data regulations continue to evolve, what do you foresee as the, say, next frontier in data governance, compliance, and archiving? Mm -hmm. So we think about this in really three ways itself. The, the first way is about AI within our platform, the second is AI for the use of clients. And then the third is in its role as part of a, a broader governance perspective. So in the first instance, we're driving in new agentic AI uh, agents within our platform. Agentic AI is a wonderful set of tools that now we have as part of our arsenal to be able to take things which are very complex and which are very repetitive, data discovery, uh, data classification, if you will. Take these things, again, which have very nuanced but are repetitive, and drive it into now making those things being very simplistic within the platform. The second we've touched on already, all of this is about really enabling our clients to really access their data and drive that into their models. And then the third is really that role of governance. More and more is there the need to really understand what data have you used, for AI or for analytics, and being able to capture and retain that information, whether that's output, the artifacts, the algorithms, and really hold on to that data because that's becoming a larger perspective. Before we go for the leaders watching, what's one paradigm shift you'd urge them to consider to truly harness their data landscape for competitive advantage and AI readiness? Terry, why don't we start with you? Paradigm shift would be archive enable your AI and analytics strategy. Um, that's the lessons learned from the first wave of analytics is access to more data uh, at scale and, and entitlements and, and enforce those entitlements and security on that. The partnerships like ours with Snowflake enable really our clients and we're so delighted to be here with so many of Snowflake's and our clients uh, here in San Francisco this week um, to talk a bit about that so viscerally they uh, they get that, but uh, you know that that would be the paradigm shift: is to think about things, uh, forge forward, and and iterate on on those items. Just as uh, Sridhar and Sam Altman said to us yesterday in the in the keynote address. Very much stronger together. Mm. And Dan, from your seat. Great. So I'm going to add a little bit onto what Terry has to say. Um, had to say, is in the fact of that. What's becoming more and more evident as we're getting more and more use out of AI and analytics data is the need for organizations to really understand where has that data been curated? Where, how has it been used? And really owning that process and understanding that that's where things are going to be coming from. External regulators, there's always somebody overlooking your shoulder right. saying, where does that data come from? How have you used it? Was it done in an ethical way? And more and more platforms like, and ourselves included, Archive360, become paramount as part of that equation because we represent a source of truth. Well, gentlemen, it's such a pleasure and exciting next chapter. Thank you so much for joining me today. Fantastic, thanks. thanks for having us. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. We'll see you soon.